streamer luck. Streamer luck. Okay. Only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? We have the the Valentine's event Rose Festival. Okay, accompanied by embodiment of love. Rose Festival is an eight task event around getting the uh, the love gifts as well as the love coins. Of course, the love coin is what you use to buy stuff from Chavez Shop. The Rose Festival has eight tasks. You kind of go through these on your own. Spending energy is resettable. Buying VIP resets every day. Opening Outland Chest is uh, resettable at the end. Expeditions, towers, and promote Shaba to a color rank. Uh, embodiment of Love is a little bit of a double dip. There's not a lot to this one aside from just kind of logging in. It isn't going to be just during this. You know, there are this embodiment of love is going to overlap with a bunch of events. And, you know, it's good to have stuff like this, make purchases to get some emeralds, earn guild activity points. I would like to have seen this changed. I was kind of hoping that whenever we saw this again, that we were going to see some runic spheres, but I guess not. Win battles in Outland and win in Arena. I want to see more rune sphere stuff, guys. I want to see some rune spheres from somewhere. Now, unfortunately, we've got just a, a dumb a dumb string of events with hero wars alliance where there's nothing happening with the event aside from the actual activities in the event itself we have a one day emerald sale guys no i'm sorry i'm sorry this is a three day emerald sale one slot one slot only we have the oops i didn't mean to back out back out we have the flower shop which we'll talk about in a second the new skins are available for purchase with money only with money only they are limited time only skins you only have the next three days to purchase them we have the gifts for your guild bundles right kind of cool i suppose if you're into buying uh, that shorter thing upgrade the heroes you know buying soul stones for the uh for the uh the three romantic skin heroes and then finally these holiday bundles just more bundles in the carousel the shop right the flower shop features chaba's skin plus which i you know this is a swing and a miss for me i know that some people are going to love this i'm not a huge fan of the look of this skin i think health is fantastic for chaba best buys for the shop let's start with free to play players okay free to play players you should buy items okay free to play if you don't have the raid functionality and you don't have a way to farm items very quickly buying an item that you need be it a lowly thunderfoot boots or the massively overpriced song of the valkyries or whatever is going to save you a lot of time the time value cannot be understated okay there are some items in here that are more valuable than others as far as efficient use of the coins just strictly more efficient purchase than other items for example the lamorts map might be a more efficient buy than the lycanthropes fangs even though they're the same value uh, i don't think that there is one or the other but that's going to be your best buy for free to play players just just for the time value I, I like to see a chaos cores in here i like to see artifact boxes uh, i like to see the artifact coins the love gift is our typical event chest that everything converts to at the end about a 40 percent chance of getting skin stones out of the chest and you know not only are you gonna, gonna get awarded a bunch of these for doing just the basic tasks but like i said at the end all of your love coins will be converted to uh to those boxes now as far as chaba himself is concerned i don't think that he is the first tank that you should level unless you just love chaba in which case then yeah it's the first tank that you should level if you love chaba if you love his skins then you should definitely you should definitely get chaba soul stones the problem, of course, is Chaba can be easily had from the arena shop. Chaba can be easily got from the arena shop. So I would say that if you love Chaba, I would focus on getting the skin and then getting the skin plus and get his soul stones from the arena event shop. The flower shop makes it harder to get 85K. You can't buy event coins. A lot of people buy event coins. I understand that. Robert probably has Chaba already maxed out. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do. A lot of people do. Now, should you spend on this event? I don't think so. If you don't absolutely love Chaba, I don't think that you should really worry about spending on this event at all. At all. I don't think so. Uh, I, it, I'm not saying that the skins are bad. They're the only time you're going to be able to get the skins for like six months. But we know from Iris giving us a little bit of a look into her crystal ball 
We know that there is a big event that we probably all should care about way more sometime in the next week. The Runic Stone, Runic Sphere event, whatever it looks like, is probably going to be where you should where you should allocate some resources. This Chaba skin event, we see we see this carbon copy of this event two dozen times a year. Maybe maybe 12 times a year. Maybe at, at a bare minimum once a month we see this style of event with items shops with a uh, with a box that has a 40% chance to get skin stones with uh, you know a skin plus and two other skin. We see that shop constantly, okay? Get the Chaba skin or the Ziri or the Octavia skin, purchase, you know, purchase them with real money. Uh, do enough tasks to get the Chaba skin plus. Uh, again, only if you use Chaba Ziri or Octavia. I'm not saying that these are must buys if you don't use them because uh, they will be available, you know, in six months to a year for skin stones and purchase and skin certificates and all of that. But I would save resources for that event that is up coming. Beyond that, we don't really have much more in the way of Hero Wars Alliance news. Enjoy the double, uh, triple dipping of events. Kind of, kind of, sort of. Reward box, embodiment of love, and uh, the Rose Festival events.